So now since waivers is over and the weekend's coming up soon, these are five guys I want to stash on my bench hitting, heading into week eight of the NFL fantasy football season. And the first guy, I've seen him dropped in a lot of leagues now after waivers period ended, and that's Cam Akers of the Los Angeles Rams, the rookie running back. I think he's going to get that touches after the bye week, which is coming up in week nine. So week 10, we could see Akers ready to go. And he got dropped in 12% of fantasy leagues. So now he's only 34% owned. And if he's out there, he's worth a stash, in my opinion, as the first guy to get. This guy's a great talent, good rookie. Henderson and Brown, they're doing a decent job, nothing great. And I know McVay likes this rookie. We saw him get a lot of touches earlier in the year. But now with the rib injury, they've sat him down for the last three weeks. But I think Akers, after the bye in Week 10, is someone that could be starting to play a lot. And you put it in your lineup. See, he's the first guy. The second guy, second guy I like is a stash is Logan Thomas of the Washington football team. I've been talking a lot about him in the last few weeks, but I think this guy, he's a solid tight end. You could have worse options on your team. And Thomas is in the last two games is 13 and 16. So that's big production out of the tight end position. He's only 22% owned, so he's out there in 78% of fantasy leagues and he's a guy I would go try to stash on the bench this week going in there if I have a roster spot. The third guy is Tony Pollard of the Dallas Cowboys. Yes I know Zeke's the starter. Yes I know the offensive line is banged up and hurt and they can't get any production but the last two games now Tony Pollard his touches has gone up in week six he had 12 touches versus Arizona and then last week he had nine so Pollard he's getting some decent looks and if Zeke ever went down Pollard you pull plug him in there with confidence as a number two running back even with the line woes and all that Pollard a decent receiver out of the backfield as well so he would be the third bench stash for me heading into the week the next stash I would get is Alshon Jeffrey of the Philadelphia Eagles hey he might even play this week if he does or doesn't, he's a good guy to get on your bench and see what happens if he plays this week. I think they're going to sit him out this week with the bye in week 9 and he'll come back in week 10. He's available in 85% of fantasy leagues is Jeffrey. And when healthy, you know he's a big target for Carson Wentz and he likes to get him the ball. I know Fulgham is there. You got Rager possibly coming back this week as well. But Alshon Jeffrey, he'll definitely be part of the team's plans going forward. And he's got an easy schedule coming up if he comes back after the bye. The Giants, Cleveland, and Seattle. So Jeffrey's a guy I would just put on your bench and see what happens. There could be worse options that you go. Fifth and final guy I would go and pick up if he's still out there is Randall Cobb of the Houston Texans. He's only 15% owned. And Cobb, he's had a couple decent games now in the last three weeks. Double digit fantasy points. And last week coming off a 17 and a half point performance. In PPR leagues, you know, they trailing in a lot of games, Houston. Watson, he likes throwing that ball. He looks for Cobb. Cobb's getting his chances, and he's had a decent season with 80 fantasy points in PPR for Randall Cobb. So if the Texans don't trade him to a contender, Cobb is a good guy to have on your bench and fill in in bye weeks because those 10 to 15 points that he could guarantee you is bigger than you think. Go out there and get his A.J. Dillon. Jamal Williams is going to get the start this week with Aaron Jones out again with that calf. And that calf injury, it's pretty concerning to me now that he heard it in practice last week. And now he's missed two games. It's been almost two weeks now. He's been dealing with the injury as Jones. And now say Williams goes down with an injury or what. Dillon, at least you'll have him on your bench. I'm not telling you to start Dillon. But he's a good bench stash. For this week, again, he got dropped in a bunch of leagues after only having five carries last week. But this week, like I said, the game script could be different. Or if Williams goes down with an injury, then will be the next man up. Because with Jones, I don't know when he's coming back. And the Packers, they had their bye week already. So this injury sounds pretty serious to me. It's a division game. I don't think they're going to take Minnesota that easy. These teams have had battles over the last few years, so... It's pretty dangerous, I think, that injury for Jones. And then they got a game Thursday night, which is a quick turnaround. So I'm thinking 
go out there and get A.J. Dillon. He could be a good stash. And if he does nothing this week, at least you gave it a shot. So if you got a dead spot on your bench and you want to take a flyer, Dillon's worth the ad. Because like I said, if Williams goes down, he's not going to play Thursday. And Jones, who knows when he's going to be out to. So Dillon would be the starter in week nine on Thursday if something happens. So go out there and stash A.J. Dillon before the game start on Sunday.